Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. We're going to talk about common mistake people make that can cost you thousands of dollars in repairs, parts, tools that you may not actually need. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Very quick, very helpful video for any of you guys trying to find where the EVAP system, that's Evaporative Emission Control System, fuses relays are located on Chevy Equinox, that generation here from year 2010 to year 2017. Stay with us guys, we will explain where you can find it. We will talk about hidden fuse boxes. We will share information that can potentially guys save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. And by the way, if you need to buy any replacement parts, tools, fuses, relays, guys, we will share that information in the description on the video below check it out and you can see where we get most of our tools and supplies from as well so let's start on it now before we start guys let us tell you quick a little bit about us every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we show you how to fix almost anything guys engines transmissions bodywork fuses relays why we do all that because our mission in the garage is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these free videos by the way guys check out our youtube channels we have more than 19,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs so let's go ahead guys and start on it now. So guys, for the EVAP system, the Evaporative Emission Control System, which fuses and relays we need to check, we will demonstrate on this generation Chevy Equinox here, but quick advice, 9 out of 10 owners do not know that there will be some hidden fuse boxes in that Chevy Equinox, that's why we made one special video on our YouTube channel that's called Chevy Equinox Fuse Box Location and Diagram, a video that can save you a lot of money. And what we need to do now here, guys, we need to open the hood facing the engine here on the right side, that's the driver's side, you see that's the brake fluid reservoir next to it is the main engine fuse box there is one clip here with two tabs one on this side you squish them together lift the cover up and underneath you're going to find a fuse box with a layout like this one here before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay you, let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below and guys what we need to check here specifically we're going to start by checking one fuse but then we will talk about something else as well something that you need to know please make sure to stand till the end information that can save you a lot of money coming here in that row here we need to first check guys fuse number 21 where that fuse is located right here this is guys the fuse that you will need to check now the evap system mostly consists of the purge control valve canister valve so for any of you guys that want to see how to test purge valve okay it's very important to test it before you buy one there is no need to replace it and waste your money unless you have to guys we'll have the video on our youtube channel how to test purge control valve check it out it will teach you how to do that step by step you don't have any relays you just have that fuse that's known as a relay fuse guys now one very quick advice from us if you open guys interior fuse box we want to show you you have two kinds of different fuses and relays here but in the engine fuse box you have all kinds of different fuses relays jk's fuses mini fuses relays now guys uh, always keep some spare ones if you're in the middle of nowhere let's say you need a fuse for a fuel pump you don't have a replacement one you are stuck always get some spare ones put them in the glove box for a peace of mind we will share guys the information in the description of the video below where you can get replacement fuses relays parts tools as well well guys so thank you for watching hopefully the video was helpful and see you guys next time